Thank you, Mr. President. Distinguished members of the Security Council, thank you again for the opportunity to brief you on the implementation of Security Council Resolution 2118 on the elimination of the chemical weapons program of the Syrian Arab Republic. I remain in regular contact with the Director General of the OPCW to discuss matters related to this file, and I spoke to him last week. In addition, I met with the Chargé d'Affaires of a permanent mission of the Syrian Arab Republic to the United Nations this past Friday. Mr. President, at the time of my last briefing, planning was underway with regard to the destruction of the remaining two stationary above ground facilities of the 27 declared by the Syrian Arab Republic. I'm informed that the OPCW working with the United Nations Office of Project Services, UNOPS, is currently at the stage of finalizing a contract with a private company to carry out the destruction. I understand that the destruction could be completed within two months. Mr. President, there have been some developments on the issues related to Syria's initial declaration and subsequent amendments. Translation and analysis of documents that were provided to the OPCW by the government of the Syrian Arab Republic in November has been completed. The OPCW has indicated that this information provided clarifications on some issues. However, the OPCW is continuing to follow up with the government of Syria on the remaining gaps, inconsistencies, and discrepancies. The Director General will submit a report in this regard to the next session of the OPCW Executive Council, which take place in March. Further to its routine inspections in Syria, samples taken by the OPCW team during its second inspection at the Syrian Scientific Studies and Research Center, or SSRC, are currently being analyzed by two OPCW-designated laboratories. The Executive Council will be informed of the results of this inspection by a separate note to the next session of the Executive Council from the Director General. Mr. President, distinguished members of the Council, the OPCW fact-finding mission, FFM, continues to look into all allegations of the use of chemical weapons in Syria, the majority of which involve the use of toxic chemicals such as chlorine in areas not under the control of the government. The FFM expects to submit a report on these allegations very soon. In addition, another FFM team has been looking into allegations of the use of chemical weapons brought to the attention of the OPCW by the government of Syria. At the time of our last briefing, an FFM team was in Damascus at the invitation of the government to look into several of these allegations. I am informed that a report in this regard is also pending. Mr. President, distinguished members of the council, there is still work to do before resolution 2118 can be considered to have been fully implemented and for the international community to have shared confidence that the chemical weapons programs of the Syrian Arab Republic has been fully eliminated. Moreover, allegations of the use of chemical weapons in Syria have continued, including only this past weekend in the town of Serakeb. This makes abundantly clear our continuing and collective responsibility to ensure that those responsible are held to account. New reports by the FFM are pending. Should they conclude that they, are, they have been the use or likely use of chemical weapons in any of those alleged incidents, our obligation to enact a meaningful response will be further intensified. It is my hope and the hope of the Secretary General 
that such a response will favor unity, not impunity. As always, the Office for Disarmament Affairs stands ready to provide whatever support and assistance it can. Thank you very much for your attention.